This is the next segment of my personal collection of rocks and minerals. This is Labradorite. It's one of my favorite stones. It's a nice aqua blue color in this one. And same with this guy here. I apologize if that light's catching you. You gotta have some good light to make these guys flash the way you want them to show. You gotta catch them just on the right angle. There we go. See this guy flash. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Here's one that I found at a uh, second hand store. It only cost me about three bucks. It's a fair size. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. Here's a pretty cool color. Nice dark blue. This one here has like a haunting color, a haunting effect too. Isn't that great? Look at that, eh? Like a sapphire or something. Just look at that. Just glows. It's awesome. I don't even want to take that one off the screen. It looks so cool there. Another one. Very, very similar. But quite a lot larger is this dude here again. Same kind of haunting effect with the blue. Look at that, eh? Love this stone. How can you not love this stone, really? It's just mind blowing, isn't it? Look at that. All the fractures are natural, of course. Now, moving right along, let's check out some different colors. Here's a yellow one. I don't know if anybody's ever really made a long labradorite uh, video, so I figured maybe I'd be one of the first. Or at least get one out there that people can see the magic of this stone of the thinking about collecting and whatnot. This guy here's great because he's got the aqua blue over here and the yellow on the other side. It's kind of a two for one deal, huh? Well, this is going to be tricky, but I'm going to see if I can make this work. These guys here... Oh, I think I got it. If you catch the right angle, this one just glows like fire. Oh, here we go. You see that? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, just blazing. Just blazing, this guy does. Here we go. Ah, I gotta love just grabbing these things, picking them up and flashing them around. Fantastic. Let's see what else we've got here. Here's one. This is insane. Check this out. As soon as I get it in the screen. If I can make this one catch, this is awesome too. It just might take a sec. To catch the right light. Oh, here we go. That's another blazing. This guy just blazes as well. The fiery color. This guy just, oh, here we go. There it is, okay. Sorry, that took a second, but. Very few fractures on this one's a really high quality guy. Super orange in color. I'm getting some more interesting ones here now. Some more multicolored, which are very interesting. If I can get this one to flow, here we go. Here's some colors coming through now. Hopefully you can see that. Like I say, it's all a game when you're trying to uh, get the colors to really come out. That, that's pretty good there. There we go. I can see some of the beauty in this guy. It's the colors radiate through. It's purples, yellows, different colors. Here's an example here coming up. Oh, another nice multicolor guy. Oh, look at this guy. Glows all yellows and pinks and blues. Expertly cut, nice and smooth, like most of them that I've got here. Here we go, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Good stuff. Moving right along. 
Now for the grand finale, you ready? Dun dun dun! Ha ha ha! This is the creme de la creme. These are my very, very favorite Labby spheres. And polished stones, I should say, the spheres over there. Look at the color on some of these specimens, they're just amazing. I keep these right here on my computer desk with me to look at. Because I adore them so much. I've been collecting these guys now probably for a few years, I guess. I'm very, very diligent on the sights. Keeping my eyes open and peeled. Trying to find the very best specimens that I can. It's a very long process, and it's a very drawn-out process as well. Trying to find the very best pieces, but as you can see in the long run, it's very, very rewarding. Look at that. Nice purple. And over here, this guy here, if I can get him, show you. A lot of labbies out there are very questionably uh, pink in color. Their purple's hardly disputable. This guy here, like, look at that. This is purple. I mean, that is a purple piece of labradorite. Maybe a little pink mixed in for a good measure, but... This guy down here has lots of pretty colors as well. Look at that, eh? The way the light catches these guys. This guy here actually has a really cool rainbow. If you can see it, hopefully. There we go. It's got like a full spectrum rainbow. Right down to the purple, look at that. Is that great? This guy here I purchased just today. Over here. And I don't know if you can compare it to my hand, but he's about three or four inches long, he's pretty good. This guy here I've had for a little while as well. I mean, and this guy right here. I don't know how look they, big they look in the video, but they're a fair size, these guys. This here's one of the best blues I've ever seen. You just don't see that much blue with such small fractures without all the cloudiness in them. This here is one of the best uh, pinky purples I've ever seen as well. Again, it's very long. It's about five inches long. This guy up here, he's got some fantastic color. I kind of almost want to take him out and show him to you better. You can just catch the right light. Oh, here we go. Look at this guy go. There he goes. Oh, there he, there he is right there. Yep. Absolutely adore these stones. Not too cool when somebody comes by and hits my computer desk and knocks them down, though. That makes me kind of sad. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my collection. And I'll be back again. As soon as I acquire some more items to show you guys. Alright. Thank you very much. Have a good day.